What's going on y'all? It's your boy Bootstrap Billy back with another video. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do literally every single takedown, clinch takedown that is, sorry, in UFC 4. Um yeah, the the title is not clickbait. I'm gonna teach you how to do every single one in this game. I'm gonna go over every single one. Uh with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first section of clinch takedowns we're gonna talk about is uh universal takedowns. And these are takedowns that anyone can use regardless of how bad their takedowns are. So for example, I am using Israel Adesanya here, and as you can see, he has one-star wrestling takedowns and one-star uh, judo takedowns. So, what that means is literally every single character in this game has to have at least one star for wrestling takedowns and judo takedowns. So, no matter how shit your character is at takedowns, you will always be able to do the following takedowns that I'm about to show you. And just so you know, the structuring of this video, after universal takedowns, I'll talk about wrestling takedowns from the clinch, and then after wrestling takedowns, I'll talk about uh, judo takedowns from the clinch. So first off, we're going to talk about universal takedowns from the single collar clinch. To initiate this, is all you do is R1 and then your jab. So square for orthodox, triangle for southpaw. So the easiest universal takedowns that you'll have from the clinch is your double leg takedown. Uh, it's the same thing as doing a double leg when you're standing. You're just going to hold L2 and then hold triangle. Uh, keep in mind that you can do double leg takedowns regardless of wrestling takedown level from the single collar clinch, the tie clinch, and the single under clinch. So I'm going to show you guys from the tie clinch, for example, but again, keep in mind that this that this takedown works in the single collar clinch, the tie clinch, and the single under clinch. So the first universal uh, wrestling takedown you'll have is to do this takedown, all you're going to do is R1 and circle, a little ankle pick. Uh, you can also do it moving forward, and if you didn't know in this game, uh, movement does affect clinch takedowns, but here's it moving forward. And for your judo takedowns, you can have a headlock toss, which is R1 slash X. Or R1 and X, I apologize. And then you can also do an inside trip, which is moving forward and then R1 and X, which looks just like that. So that is an example of how movement affects takedowns in this game. Um, R1 and X, just standing still, would do that headlock toss. And then when you're moving forward and you do R1 and X, that would be the inside trip. And just so you guys don't get anything confused, I'm going to be listing all controls in PlayStation format. So... On the Xbox, that would be R, B, and A for both of those uh, takedowns. Now, next up, we have the tie clinch. So, to get in the tie clinch, all you gotta do is initiate the single collar and then throw a knee. The knee can be to the head or to the body. And once I throw a knee, now I'm in the tie clinch. A lot of tie clinch takedowns are really similar to the single collar takedowns, but there's a little variation here and there. Uh, but, of course, we have the ankle pick, R1 and circle, or R, B, and B on Xbox. And you can do that moving forwards as well, just like the single collar. And for our judo, we have the headlock toss, which is R1 and X, just like single collar. And then the inside trip, which is uh, moving forward and then R1 and X, just like single collar. So as you can see, all of the takedowns from the tie clinch are the same as the single collar clinch as far as universal takedowns go. However, uh, once we get into like high level judo takedowns and wrestling takedowns, there's a little bit of variation between the two. The next clinch position we're going to talk about is the single under. So to do this, or to get to the single under rather, you're going to hold R1 and then press square or triangle. Either one doesn't matter, same thing. And from here your wrestling takedown is moving forward and then R1 and X and you'll do a forward tackle, which looks like this. Keep in mind you have to be moving forward for that takedown to happen. If you just hit R1 and X, nothing is going to happen. Now here's a quick little side note I want to tell you guys. Trips in this game are a little bit confusing. If I want to trip my opponent with my lead leg, I need to hit X, right? Because X controls my lead leg. If I want to trip them with my rear leg, I would hit circle because circle controls my rear leg. Hence how hitting circle throws a rear low kick. Now you need to move your opponent towards whatever leg you're tripping them with. So if I'm tripping him with the lead leg, which is my left leg, right? I'm Jacare. I want to move him towards that leg, and then I hit R1 and X. If I'm, if I'm going to trip him with my rear leg, I move him towards my rear leg, and then I hit R1 and circle. Quick little side note. And the judo takedown in the single under was an outside trip with R1 and O. So you're, again, you're going to move him towards your outside leg, like so, and you toss him on the ground. Of course, if I just hit R1 and circle, nothing will happen because that's just how movement uh, affects takedowns in this game. And the next clinch position we're going to talk about is the over-under. So the over-under is kind of weird how you get to it. Uh, the first method is shooting a double leg and then canceling it by holding R2. Uh, that's one way. 
I have a whole video on the over under clinch specifically um, and I will do an updated version on that uh, video because I kind of messed that video up a little bit but regardless if you want to see that video just search it up on my channel or if I remember to I'll, I'll leave the card and then the other way is really specific uh, probably won't really use it that much but I thought I might as well tell you guys that the other way to enter the over under clinch like I said before was slipping a straight to the inside and uh, basically that just means that you need to slip it towards his lead hand so if I slip his straight to this side that would be slipping it to the inside if I were to slip it to this side that would be slipping it to the outside and once you slip that straight all you need to do is hit R1 and square or triangle depending on what south you're in uh, stance you're in sorry and here's an example of that that's if he's throwing it from southpaw and that's what it looks like if he's throwing it from orthodox. So once you are in the over-under clinch, there is no wrestling universal takedowns from the over-under clinch. However, you do have two judo takedowns. The first one is pulling guard. This is actually the first UFC game where you can pull guard. And this is the only situation where you can pull guard uh, in this game is over-under. And how you do that is you hit R1 and square. And you'll instantly take the fight down to the ground. I would not recommend doing this with a character like Izzy because his ground game isn't good. Uh, if you're using someone like T. Ferg or Jacare Souza, uh, this wouldn't be a bad idea because their ground game is phenomenal and that's where you want the fight to be. And the second universal takedown you will have from over under is a body lock, I believe is what it would be called. Uh, it's R1 and X and you can do it on the move or standing still and it looks just like this. And the last universal takedown you'll have from over under is an inside trip with your rear foot. So the input is going to be R1 and circle. And this trip is kind of unique because you can move him towards your rear foot or towards your lead foot. It doesn't really seem to matter. So in this example, I'm moving towards my rear foot. As you can see, it works just like that. And this time, I'll move him towards my lead foot. As you can see, it still works. And if you have your opponent in the clinch against the cage, all you got to do to get there is just put him in the clinch and then walk him back to the cage. Uh, once you're here, the universal takedowns, there are none for wrestling, and there is one for uh, judo, which is R1 and X. Simple hip toss. Now, when you are in backside in the clinch, and uh, if, you, if you don't know how to get there, all you have to do is get in the cage clinch and then push downwards on the, the left stick. This depends on the camera angle, however. So in this situation, it would be downwards, right? And if you see, if I hit down, now I go to his back. But in this example, I'd actually have to flick upwards if I'm using Jacare. Basically, all you need to know is that you need to flick the left stick or move it. It doesn't really matter if you flick it or not, but just push the left stick uh, in the direction of your opponent's underhook. So now that you know how to get to backside, uh, what are the universal takedowns from there? So. The wrestling one is R1 and circle, which you can use to drag your opponent down to the ground. Kind of a dog shit takedown, doesn't really do much, but I guess backside isn't a, isn't a bad spot to be if you're on the ground. And the judo version of this takedown uh, from backside is R1 and square or triangle, which you can use to go to backpack. And once you're here, you can hit X to drag your opponent down to the ground, which you will be in backside. Um, there is submission versions of this, but I think that it depends on your opponent's orthodox choke level. Alrighty, so now for the wrestling takedowns from the clinch. So, who I'm using for this is Marty Usman, or Kamaru, if you'd like to call him that. Uh, and as you can see, he has 5-star wrestling takedowns. So, this is going to be every single possible wrestling takedown from the clinch that you could have if you're using a character with really good wrestling takedowns. Um, if your character has four star wrestling takedowns, uh, you're, you'll probably have most of these. Maybe like one or two you won't have, but for the most part, you'll you'll have most of these. Three star, however, I'm not really sure how many you will have uh, from this list. Probably a decent amount. I'm not 100% sure. But I just wanted to show you guys the universal takedowns and then the really specific takedowns that you'll have for each category of takedowns. So up first, of course, we have the double leg from the clinch. And again, remember, you can do that from the tie, the single collar, and the single under. I did forget to mention there might be a few repeats in here, but I'm just going to say them anyways. It'll be good for just memorization. The second five-star wrestling takedown from the clinch will be a headlock toss. Uh, yep, pretty simple. That's R1 and X. And if you do this moving forward, you do R1 and X moving forward, you get a nice little forward tackle. Of course, you'll have the ankle pick as well, which is R1 and circle from the single collar. And you can do that moving forward as well. And it's pretty much the same thing. And from the tie clinch, the takedowns are literally the exact same. 
You have the ankle pick, which you can do moving forwards or standing still. You have the front headlock toss, which is R1 and X, just standing stationary. And then you have that forward tackle, which is R1 and X while moving forward. Now from single under, you will only have one uh, special wrestling takedown. Of course you will have that forward tackle, just like that, because that's a universal takedown. But the only other uh, five star wrestling takedown that you will have from the single under clinch is a high crotch slam, which you can do by holding R1 and then pressing circle. Nice little slam, and it will do damage to your opponent's body. From the over under clinch, there's literally no wrestling takedowns. Uh, even if you have five star wrestling takedowns, there isn't a single quote unquote wrestling takedown from the over under. When you have your opponent against the cage in the clinch, uh, the first thing you'll have is that headlock toss, which is R1 and X. That's a universal takedown that you'll have with every fighter. And yeah, other than that, there is no wrestling takedown from just that simple cage position. Now, from the backside, you have a couple takedowns that you can do. The first one is a suplex, which is R1 and X, just standing still. Looks like this. Honestly, I'm pretty disappointed with the suplex animation in this game. Uh, UFC 3 was badass, man. You were dropping people on their necks. This one, however, kind of lame. And of course, the universal takedown that you'll have from here is the R1 and circle little drag down animation of course you'll be able to backpack from here as well which is R1 and square or triangle and uh, then X to pull your opponent down to the ground to back sitting again there is the sub that you can do which is L2 R1 and square or triangle and that depends on what your character's rear naked choke level is alrighty so now we are on to the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu slash Judo takedown section and I'm using Jacare now and something to keep in mind is that whenever you're doing a trip, you always need to move your opponent towards whatever your leg you're tripping them with. So if I'm using R1 and O to trip my opponent, I'm going to be tripping him with my rear leg. Hence, when I hit O, it throws a rear leg kick. If I'm tripping them with my lead leg and I'm using R1 and X, right, X throws a lead leg kick because X controls my lead leg, similar to how O controls my rear leg. I, and if I'm going to use R1 and X to trip my opponent, I would move him towards that lead leg. So the first one we have is a foot sweep right. So I'm going to move him towards my rear leg. Right, see that? I'm moving him towards that rear leg side. And then I hit R1 and O. Next up we have a foot sweep left, which I'm going to move towards my lead leg. Right, just like that. And then I hit R1 and X. Next up we have the headlock hip toss. I'm pretty sure this was a universal takedown. Just like that, that is R1 and X. And then we have the inside trip, which is moving forward and then R1 and X. And I'm not going to show you guys the tie clinch because the tie clinch is literally the exact same takedowns. All of the single collar takedowns are the exact same in the tie clinch, so it's the exact same thing. So now we'll be talking about the takedowns in the single under. So again, remember, when you're in single collar, all you have to do is hit R1 and square or triangle to get to single under. So the first takedown you have is a hip toss, which is R1 and X, just like that. And the next one you have is an outside trip with R1 and O. So you're, again, you're going to move him towards your outside leg, like so and you toss him on the ground. Now let's talk about over under. This is where the judo takedowns really shine. First off, you have pull guard, which is R1 and square. Just like that, every fighter in the game has that. And next off, you have the pull guard sweep to mount, which is R1 and triangle. So here, you're gonna pull guard and then you're gonna sweep them to top mount. All you have to do is hit R1 and triangle, and it plays this exact animation. However, I think that this takedown is a bit easier to deny the windows a little bit bigger. Uh, when you are the defender in the over under however it's still very effective and it's a great way to get to a dominant position on the ground next up we have an outside trip which you can do by using r1 and circle just like so no movement required and of course you could always pull them towards the leg that you are tripping them with like so next up we have this little suplex thing which is r1 and x not really sure what to call it i think that's a body lock actually Next up we have the inside trip which you can do by also hitting R1 and circle, basically the same thing as the outside trip, but this way you have to be move moving forward, or you can also move them towards your lead leg. Again, this is just a really weird way to do it because they both have the same button input, however, I wouldn't worry about it because it's about the same result whichever way you go. When you have your opponent against the cage, Judo only has one takedown which is a hip toss, so that's R1 and X. 
and for backside, which again, how you get to backside is you push your opponent to the cage when you're in the clinch, and then you're going to flick the left stick towards their back, like so, and then you can backpack from here, which is R1 square or R1 and triangle. And then from here, you can hit square to bring them down. And if they have that really good rear naked choke, it'll just automatically go to a rear naked choke. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is something that a subscriber requested, so I'm always willing to do whatever you guys want. Just comment below, and I'm happy to make a video on it. And I can totally see why he requested it. The fact that the clinch has no HUD this year definitely makes things a bit interesting, and it relies more on just actual memorization, which kind of sucks, but it's cool because it's a revamp system. But with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Uh, consider subscribing and all that good stuff. I make these types of tutorials all the time. But more than anything, have a good day.